Hey guys, welcome back to Action Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the rock full of brains that is a bunch of asteroids out in the wilds of space where last time we had spent most of our time trying to get this rocket to land over here. We moved Goddard from Blagolia over to Irigao and the reason that we're on Irigao, ooh, a little bit of a hang up there, is so that we can get a Radbolt engine up and running so we can profit from the power of radiation that is coming from our nuclear reactor over here. Uh, we've got a few things that we need to do to make this a workable and a viable path. One of them of course is to build the rocket and the other is to to try and expand out this steam room down here maybe think of somewhere to put the steam turbine i'm actually thinking we might do a big big change and oh that's not what i clicked on i wanted uh, this over here uh, and maybe move our whole poke shell breeding program just a little bit over maybe move all of this stuff over here it's very cold here we've got uh, like a minus 100 give or take down below and uh, uh we, we want to somehow uh, emulate that more over here let's just put a, a little bit of an axe way in this route. Okay, so now people should start to make this system for me. We're going to literally just set this this up as we've got it over here. Three three little holes. Uh, put this down. Uh, the reason that we've got this one little tile here is so that the babies cannot jump up and over, but of course the adults can. Uh, I'm going to just take a little bit of time to sort that out, but I think we want to be able to watch that the, the fact that this rocket is actually being built uh, and we are actually getting a whole bunch of radiation. I don't know when we're going to be able to get it into there, but because I believe this holds quite a bit of radiation. It doesn't tell us on the uh, the build pro, uh, platform here, but we should be able to find out that actually, bam, does it tell us uh, 4,000 rad bolts? That's a lot of rad bolts. My plan, of course, is to go out and explore the whole of space over here. You can see that the hex goes all the way out that far. Uh, of course, exploring from Irrigal means that we can only really go out so far. I haven't at any point figured out if I want any of this stuff. I kind of don't, to be honest. It's algae, it's water, it's algae, and it's sandstone. All of these things. Maybe the copper ore would be useful, but like literally uh, there's not a great deal that I want there. Of course, uh, we do have reversaling over here. That is this asteroid mining this swampy ore field for its cobble. So that, that's, that's my plan for today. We're just going to get on it. It looks like people are making deliveries of food, water, and such forth over to the rocket. I'm, don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we need to give ourselves a bit of an upgrade in here, but Goddard will have that sorted for them as and when. Goddard can't really live here, but I, I know what. He got a little bit toasty whilst he was coming outside of the... There's what used to be a steam uh, engine here. There was lots of hot steam, and he just got out too soon, ended up nuking himself, so we we're uh, going to... Gonna put him down in the hospital for now. Oh, wow. All my calories have been moved inside the rocket. If we have a look, 1,000, uh, sorry, 155, 100,000 calories inside Irigao and uh, inside the rocket at Irigao and only 5,000 outside here. I, I think this is fine. I think people should be able to go inside and grab some food. We'll, we'll definitely find out as time rolls on. Okay, uh, we got Spitzer coming through and doing the the build there. How are we doing with the lava movement? Oh, we, we, we're getting there. We are definitely get, getting there. Okay, so my plan is to mop up all the freezing ethanol from here and then have it dropped off over this way. Ethanol, I think, should be fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to run into any troubles moving it across here. I don't think it's uh, hot enough to uh, flash into gas. I am a little bit worried about why we're getting so much heat over this side, though. It is so hot that this conveyor lo uh, loader broke. This one is in the middle of dying. Uh, we, we, we're going to have some troubles here. So I'm actually going to turn the, this off for the moment until I can figure it out. I think it's mostly coming from this area here. Uh, indeed, I'm going to get this insulated from the area if I can. We might end up dropping a lot of very hot materials around, and I, I'd rather not do that, but you know, we've got we've got to get this finished somehow, this fixed somehow, uh, and if we can do it without, you know, I'm going to disable the auto repair there. If we can do it without dropping the red hot materials everywhere, I would be very help, uh, very happy. If we could do it without irradiating, that would also so be good. Spitzer, of course, suffering from the heat in there. I, that makes a lot of sense, to be honest. 
Okay, just before we go to bed, let's cause a little bit of trouble here and see what happens from it. If I do that, do we get liquid spilling out? We do. Okay, that means that we're going to get even more liquid spilling out. I've asked for the uh, no more fuel to be added to the system here. That should be fine. And then tomorrow we'll start pumping this out somehow. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to deal with this, but we're, we're going to deal with it somehow. Okay, I've been staring at this for a while. We cannot, cannot let it do just what it wants to do. So I'm going to put down uh, an insulated tile here. I want to be able to create a seal underneath all of these so we can go up and change the what what is going on up there. I'm, I'm looking at Goddard right now, and I'm like, man, my friend, you don't really want to be here. I'm going to ask you to run all the way down to there because Spitz is in bed, and we don't we don't want to dis disturb Spitzer for the moment. Uh, and hopefully someone like Compton's going to come along and fill this block in and we'll just drop down one or two. The reason we don't want Goddard in there is because he was already suffering from uh, some pretty severe heat exposure. Uh, hopefully Compton here should just get straight on with building this tile. Yeah, okay, he's doing it, he's doing it. He might not be the fastest builder, but he is the most competent person close by. So we're, we're going to just accept it for now. Uh, I really would like the research reactor to burn through its entire stock of uranium, but given that it's pretty close to 10 tons, uh, that means it's probably not going to, uh, to stop until the end of the cycle, maybe? I should imagine it will line up with this particular active period on the cycle sensor we're gonna have to send Compton out of here I think I think we are done with him now maybe even slap down a few beds <laughs> It's always worth having spare cots around, right? Surely, surely. Okay, Goddard is not dead. That's good. What about Compton? Are you go where are you going? Okay, you're picking up a thing that I was I was really worried then that you were gonna walk through. Okay, incapacitated. Uh, this is unfortunate, but it does mean I'm gonna change from Spitzer to Compton. Okay, that's that's just gonna have to do for now. Hopefully, someone's gonna go grab him. I should imagine Chandra. Can we have a look at you? I'm uh, going to rescue the friend. Beautiful, beautiful. So this should now be all solved, mostly. I'm worried about Spitzer. He, he's going to try and do stuff, and I, I don't like it when he tries to do stuff. Let, let's see what's on his list. Construction supply. Yeah, I, mm, I'm not. I'm not sure. Let's lock the doors out to him. <laughs> We're already up to 130 rad bolts, though. So you know, this this is doing the job that it needs to be done. Oh, look at the job it needs to be doing. Uh, so yeah, that that's fine. I'm a li little a um, uh, little disappointed about the fact that I need to put some insulated tiles here. I'm sure that's blocking the rads just a little bit, but, you know, we can, we can live with like, 3,000 rads on the uh, this side. Just, just one wall does so much problems. Or damage to the situation, I suppose. I, mean, I could think about a way that we could flatten this off across here and then get these closer. We talked about this before. I, I'm not entirely sure how we're doing it, but I think it would be a good idea too. Okay, I went and got far too distracted about the heat issue. This is a problem that we need to sort out, but I've built a giant radiator. We'll hopefully try and get some of the, the heat out of there. And when... Ooh, what? No power? Oh, because everything's cooling down. Okay, that, that, this is okay. What I am going to do, however, is just squeeze those last rads out of there. They can't fire why they don't have power. Okay, that's that's an interesting thing to know. Uh, and we, we will be back for this particular issue. Oh, there, are, there are problems kicking off all over the place but we, we need to move this so that we could be dealing with other things uh people are going around and fixing the whole power situation up but more importantly i would like some of this really cold ethanol moved uh so let's let's just get a whole bunch of bunch of that moved uh pr pretty pretty sharpish i think we've also got some uh some possible chlorine in there so let, let's move that as well uh hopefully we'll then start being able to chill this place down because uh, uh, almost instantly in fact we shouldn't let the chlorine in yet. No, no, no chlorine right now. Just the ethanol. Uh, the reason for the ethanol is because it doesn't turn into a gas when it gets dro uh, dropped on 20 degree stuff. Uh, but the uh, the chlorine most definitely would. Okay, here we go. Last bits coming through. Come on, Goddard, you can do it, my friend. Uh, and then when we cool this down, we need to like move the uh, the liquids across. That's definitely a thing we need to do. Uh, the ethanol is instantly changed temperature to 20 22 degrees there was only a couple of uh, couple of grams there though 
That's unfortunate. Where, where's the rest of the ethanol gone? Okay, there we go. Hubble found 100 kilograms at minus 80. Let, let's see what this ends up when it gets uh, added to the rest of the room. Do we want to watch this on this overlay? I think we... Wow, why, why are these so hot? They're, they're, they're not. They're only like mid-30s. That's not too bad. I, I feel like the scaling of... Ooh, yeah, that's that's nice. We're getting this down to minus 50. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like the scaling of the temperature overlay is just not applicable for the way we play the game and will the chlorine stay liquid when it goes down uh no 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 it didn't okay well that, that that's fine we don't need this anymore i don't think and uh, no, i'd like to replace it with a critter drop off and uh we're gonna we're gonna have to do something pretty unsightly at some point because all of this here needs to move Ooh, liquid carbon dioxide. That's a, that's a rare. Normally goes straight to solid. Never a moment's rest of your spitzer, and I can't believe he walked like right into the water. Are you kidding me? Not the water, the uh, the the liquid nuclear waste. Would you walk into liquid nuclear waste? I mean, I would try to avoid it. Spitzer doesn't care. Made of sterner stuff. It is really hot though. That's that's what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> Oh, I forgot one thing that needed to happen before we carry on. That tile right there needs to be done before this tile gets replaced and we drop all of the nuclear waste down on the floor. That That's bad when that happens. It's happened once before. We don't want it to happen again. Okay, we're having a little bit of a build-off here. Can Chandra get one tile done before Spitzer upgrades everything? It is actually going to be kind of close. Turns out Chandra is not as good at building as Spitzer is. Thankfully, the, the weak knee for oxygen has overridden that uh, that that danger right there oh, man not not an ideal scenario to find ourselves in but i i am very glad that we're fixing it now okay Garlard is very helpfully moving the last of the very hot stuff out of there i mean obviously we've still got liquid naphtha and things like that but hopefully the fact that we've got everything really hot out of there means that we're just going to start bringing the temperature down this auto sweeper in particular was the thing i was watching uh, and i think maybe it's it's kind of hard to tell it's kind of hard to tell we do have a lot of thermal mass saying hey i want to be above 100 degrees so i mean may maybe we need to tidy all of this up it's not quite the uh the radiated hotbed that it was it is just quite warm so yeah i think i think we can let them back in there oh no oh no it's happening oh, it's happening spitzer is uh ugly cry which honestly is not the worst one i should imagine that when i saw that that was one of the things that maybe go mm, yeah maybe maybe we can keep hold of him uh literally just dripping water down below i don't know if it, anything else happens maybe he makes the others around him feel sad or something like that i'm i'm not sure but uh, i'm in the middle of building a massage table for them so they can feel a little bit oh Oh, they're just a little bit, a little bit better than they do right now. They feel a little bit overpressured. They've not been able to eat their barbecue. That's what's been going on. They've not, they've not been able to eat the food that they've grown accustomed to, and they've got stressed about it. Which, you know, is valid. Let's see if we could just move him down here and, and get him to use that. No, no, it looks like that's just taking total precedent. Uh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay. You, you just have a cry next to the massage table. I, I'm sure everything will be fine. And not at all people get stressed because they've seen you crying. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. And now he's eating outside of the Great Hall. I don't I don't know what, what his problem is at the moment. He would get a, a tasty plus six to morale if he went in, in there, but but no, he, he'd rather not. <laughs> Instead, he's going to be one morale short because he, the food's pretty good, but that's that's it. That's That's what's going on. There we go, much better. You get beaten up by the giant wooden hands and everybody else will just kind of work on the build over here. Uh, I'm just basically going through and cloning this on this side because because that's all we need to do. But I also feel like maybe people need to come along and wrangle the critters. I think there's only one person who actually can. Oh, Spitzer can as well, okay. I wasn't expecting Spitzer to do that. I kind of had him doing other things. But once they've been wrangled, we can... Oh, we're going to have to turn this... Oh, we, we're going to have to rip all of this out because the critters aren't going to be able to be brought through here else okay we'll just we'll just rip it open no no problem no problem 
now that we've moved the critters and ripped down the cold box, I would normally at this point be taking a moment to thank all of my patrons, but actually I come forth with an apology in hand. Last week I had four different assignments all due on the same day, and this meant that I had missed my deadline for releasing this video last week. It is normally by the power of my patrons that I do try to find enough time in the week to be able to get one of these videos out. Unfortunately, my university course did have to take precedent this time, and I can only hope, only hope that you and this list of beautiful, generous, wonderful people that are scrolling up the screen right now can find it in your hearts to forgive me for running out of time last week. So, for the first time in a while, I'm saying thank you and sorry. Sorry so much. I think we're okay to throw that switch again. If we could- oh, wait, wait, I, I killed the power, I killed the power because it was, like, taking out power and then not, not getting enough to, to function. So hopefully, well, obviously we need to warm up. This should already be full of some water. Yeah, 300 degree water, so we're about to drop down uh, some pretty hot coolant at some point. I believe it's somewhere about 400 degrees. Bam, exactly at 400 degrees. Uh, it drops everything down the bottom. Uh, and then that should then kick these turbines on, and then we start getting some heating for the cooling system because that's one of the things I'm most worried about is this water not we've got a single blob there what's that about is this water not being able to uh, cool down the systems around uh, everything seems to be up and running uh, the only thing I need to do now is to bring this activation time in line with the rest of the system uh, as it stands there will be some downtime uh, tomorrow morning uh, but that that's fine okay yeah, the, the system is, is moving on beautifully this is a uh, Ooh, I'm not about that. Okay, I'll need to turn this down to 1%. Yeah, okay. We've got we've got some some horrific. Okay, it, it it fixed itself. As I was just trying to explain how bad it was, it managed to fix itself. That's good. Talking of coolant, we've now got enough of the system in place that I think I can now just drain this out. I think that's going to be fine for us just to be like, put all of this in there. Of course it won't bypass unless it's connected to the loop. Alright, I wonder how we can make that work. Uh, I mean, obviously we we just let it go past the loop and then we, we cut, cut it, but uh, yeah, it's interesting that that did it that way. Very interesting, in fact. So, um, we're, I'm just, I'm just going to let it flow. I'm just going to let it flow. <laughs> okay, enough liquid to completely top up the uh, the tank here. Uh, and I guess this means now, well, at least from here this way, we can uh, reclaim all these materials. I don't know what's going to happen with the steam box. I, I imagine I'm going to end up building two big lines here we got we got some heavy what wire to destroy yeah there's definitely more to be thought about here and we definitely need to insulate everything i mean like all of this needs to be insulated right because there's going to be some very hot stuff coming down here and then we want to like pump all this out and have it as a vacuum we're probably going to have a liquid lock on the side uh and then maybe a steam turbine like here so somewhere to be able to convert the uh, the power the raw heat coming out of the red bolt engine into power for us Ah, oh, wonderful. One of the things that I was hoping that would happen has happened. There's a little layer of ethanol and then a little layer of liquid chlorine. I'm really hoping, if we look at the gases here, that this carbon dioxide will also fr uh, condense, not, not freeze, we don't want it to freeze, but it is actually going to be too cold in here. I, I would need to turn this down to maybe minus 50 to be able to uh, to keep the liquid carbon dioxide. That, that quick save's really getting nice and long now. Uh, and of course the, uh, the temperature we want to try and drop the pips to is minus 30 but the colder it is the faster they drop there or oh, look it's, it's nearly there but we could do better we could do better Okay, steam box mostly in place. I need to run the spline up and do things like that. But it's time to do some uh, something a little bit different. Uh, we need to make a little liquid lock here with the liquid nuclear waste that we just let fall on the floor. Don't worry, it's safe nuclear waste. The uh, background radiation is worse than the radiation coming from it. So you know that that's good, right? That's a good uh, health health and safety idea to be using there. There seems to be a lot of stuff just kind of dripping down everywhere. Uh, but then we're going to start 
pumping all the gas out here and I want to try and destroy stuff uh, d d decommission stuff uh, in the side here let's also get these wires and try and push this wall over by one if I can I don't know whether I can at the moment I'll let you know when that actually happens I was kind of expecting Spitzer to get to that first I suppose I have put the wires at a slightly higher um higher priority i built this wall all the way down before i realized i was like oh yeah I, I suppose i should actually make the liquid lock and then they can get in and out but i really wanted to get the gases pumping as quick as possible because uh, that that's the bit that takes forever every now and then i just have to take a moment to uh, to get rid of some of the poke shells they're just kind of tidying uh messing up the place they uh they, they really are just in the way making danger for my friends i think spitzer was actually coming over to decommission these it says unreachable mm, i wonder if i build like just a section of ladders like there he can find somewhere to look maybe, maybe even another one there that will just give them as many options as many options as we can Oh, that's interesting. So I asked it to go for 50 because I knew that would be the point that liquid carbon dioxide freezes. Uh, and, uh, it, well, sorry, it condenses, not freezes. I'm going to have to get over that at some point. Uh, I didn't realise it was going to drop down below the liquid... Let's, let's put it onto here, onto, on, below the liquid chlorine. That's uh, that, that's very interesting. And now they've all like crammed themselves in the corner here trying to avoid being drowned. Uh, I mean... I, I, do, I just want you to get cold. It's the heat, there's the temperature change that I'm after, not so much the uh, the drowning. Okay, with this area vacuumed out, it's time for a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I feel like someone needs to go in and start taking all of this apart. And then, of course, we are going to take these uh, items over here apart as well. Unfortunately, we don't have any atmospheric suits available to us. And uh, we can't we can't even build them, it turns out. that That's a bit of a shame, a bit of an oversight. Next time that I get some reed fibre from in here, I will grab them. I'll take, we'll take some omelette. Why not? But someone at some point is going to have to come along. You know what? Start with that corner block because it's going to keep you safe uh someone at some point is gonna come along looks like maybe goddard or spitzer maybe compton if we're lucky uh and um i mean there's a lot of steam in here there's 900 kilograms of steam uh, i'm yet to see a proper steam explosion and i suppose this is kind of the closest we're gonna come to it i suppose the lead suit would help we got we got one just kind of kicking around here Okay, Compton was the lucky winner here. I, I was thinking about putting them in the uh, the lead suit. I mean, should we should we go ahead and do that? Let let let's do that. Oh. Oh, no problems, problems. Let's cut that wire there. Do not want that pumping out our precious, precious gases. I, I guess we could leave a little bit out, but that's that's not what we wanted at all. Okay, so Compton's put that on. Uh, now if I just go, hey, buddy, come, come and bust all this stuff apart. Uh, hopefully it's ju you're the only one. Oh, of course, because I've done it on super high priority. Am I going to, like, juggle people's movements, like, just... just down here and and you as well go down here just for just for a few things just just for a few is, is, is this a silly idea i feel like it might be a silly idea especially as compton takes quite some time yeah all right let's let, let's not spitzer no <laughs> Okay, just put it up on a nine instead, and it turns out he can't breathe for long enough. But I, I think I think this should work out. There is a constant battle with the farming equipment. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we'll be fine. At some point, Spitzer will get dressed. Uh, we'll get <laughs> get ready again, and then we can dress him up in the uh, in the lead suit. Okay, Chandra's just decided to come and join in anyway, completely unprotected. That's that's not the way to live life. That's not the way to live life. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna let them make their mistakes anyway. Okay, change of guards. We got we got Spitzer on the job again, and uh, you know it's a lot quicker when he's the one doing doing the destruction. It's almost like they've got the skill set for it or something silly like that. Okay, I've gone and sealed it off, taken everything out from the inside. Didn't want to lose any materials though. I was thinking about maybe putting a block of solid material on the inside of I don't know block of diamond window panes or something like that. Um, obsidian would would also work. Something that could absorb a lot of heat and just raise radiate it back out to the steam because we are as i was going to say put a steam turbine i mean we do we want it in line something like that and then we can build uh, i'm just gonna literally build a solid block like this and there are oh, and then we need to core it out from the inside but that that's relatively easy to do we do we do have a uh, a way in and out after all Maybe I can do it from the outside. I'm going to start with two blocks deep, and then I'm going to build this one and deconstruct that, and then build this one and deconstruct... Yeah, I, th I think we... 
should be able to do this. As long as we can deconstruct this tile when we start building, after we've built this lot, we, we should be golden. I'd also like these to get done. Let, let's put those up and uh, we don't need those ladders. Okay, I think Compton's come to show us that actually, yes, indeed, we can, <coughs> can corner build our way out of this situation. We're going to leave a little bit of materials behind, but you know what? I think we're okay with that. Now, as long as this... Uh, this insulated tile can be built next, uh, then we'll deconstruct this one. Yeah, we, we should get a nice box built here. And then, of course, we're going to have to do it for the second line. Obviously, I did think about combining these two uh, steam turbines into one. I just didn't want to fry the thermal aqua tuna because I don't know what temperature the Radbolt engine is going to end up throwing this steam up to. Uh, I, I could imagine anything up to a thousand. Ah, my life is a sham. I need to get in there and put a uh, put a, a, a liquid output down. I, I completely forgot about that. I do that quite often, I don't know if you noticed. So I'm going to have to take those blocks out at some point and build my way up here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I'm going to continue on with my corner building technique because most people are feeling the heat quite strongly around here but that that's fine that's fine uh, using a little bit of um, priority management to make sure that this bit gets done first of course this that that's the pipe that's the pipe that I forgot dang need, need to get in there and make that right at some point okay Goddard is finishing us up here we don't have quite enough uh, steam in here to uh, trigger the steam vent but I'm gonna go ahead of uh, the steam turbine sorry but I'm gonna go ahead and steal us in here we are very close to having this being full up totally and then Goddard will once again come through and be the guy who's doing stuff today we've gone through and moved our cold chamber they're so cold that we actually killed all of our uh, pip squeaks down here we have we had quite a few and now there's not many so we need to leave Chandra oh uh, we, we also need to uh, get Goddard out of that lead suit now. Uh, so we, we need Shant, we need Shant to go around and do a little bit of ranching. Uh, Goddard's going to seal this up. It's all going to be safe. And then we're going to go exploring the star map, or at least 10 blocks away in every direction, because I believe 20 is the maximum range of this. We can already got 16 tiles right now, so as soon as it gets filled up, I think we'll get 20. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.